What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Now I've been thinking for a while about this and I figure it's time we piece together what could possibly happen in the Tekken story with the closing of the Mishima Saga. I think it'd be a good place to start off with the elephant in the room, Akuma. What on earth is he doing there and what on earth does he owe Kazumi? Now Akuma is a very powerful fighter, so it's kind of strange to see him owe something to someone. That someone must be very powerful. My guess is that it has something to do with the Satsui no Hado. Now, in the Street Fighter storyline, Goki, or Akuma, and his brother Gokin were trained by Gotetsu. Gotetsu was teaching them the Satsui no Hado, which is a very violent and ruthless martial arts style or technique or whatever. And Gokin didn't approve, so he left to start his own dojo and all that. But Akuma wanted to continue learning this, so he went off to train alone and came back and killed his master with the Satsui no Hado. My theory is that when Akuma went off and trained alone, he had a hard time and struggled to grasp the full power of the Satsui no Hado. Maybe Kazumi happened to get a glance at him and saw some potential in him, and decided to help him out in return for a favor. So she helps him, and then Akuma goes off to do his normal Akuma things, you know, kill his master, fight people, yada yada yada. Some time goes by and Kazumi has a son, Kazuya Mishima. Once she notices that Kazuya was born with her powers, she knew Hihachi would cause some trouble. Around this time, Hihachi should have locked up Jinpachi by now, and Gokin should have found Ryu by now. So, the storylines are already lining up so far. Kazumi was probably very happy with Hihachi and very happy to be his wife, until he took over the Mishima Zaibatsu from Jinpachi. Then she saw evil in him, and hatred and nothing more but the lust for power. So she summons Akuma, and asks him, to finish off Heihachi and Kazuya if she fails to finish off Heihachi. Because she knows of all the trouble Heihachi will cause and that Kazuya will get caught up in because of him. Unfortunately, it appears that Kazumi did fail, and now it's up to Akuma to defeat Heihachi and Kazuya, thus repaying his debt. So that's why I think Akuma is there, and that's why I think he owes Kazumi something. Will he succeed or fail to stop the Mishimas? Who knows? Maybe we'll theorize what will happen with the rest of the Mishima clan next time.